Come on, Isabel. Lots of toys, lots of treats, lots of people, lots of hands, lots of handheld snacks. Lori's got snackies. It's how to keep your cats happy. Oh, there's no TV right now. Hi guys. We'll have to put some cartoons on. That's always our goal as to what can we do to make these cats happier? I think we've got a pretty good handle on it. Wouldn't you say? Just think everything that you see here is a donation. So if you are new to our channel, yes, all of these cats are spayed slash neutered. There's our mascot, Will. Hi guys. Haven't gotten live on YouTube for a while, so I thought I would. Hi, Will, Will. Hi, hey, Will, Will. Are you being a ham, Will, Will? Hi, Will. Doesn't he feel soft? He feels like a rabbit, yeah. So soft. Look at he's trying to ignore you. <laughs> I will. He's got no teeth. <laughs> Hi, kiss. Hi, kissy kiss. Right? He gums you. So, um, how to have happy humans is to put your kitty litter boxes up at waist level so you don't have to bend over. So, just thought I'd go live and show you guys a lot of happy cats. We're a little somber today. We lost a furball, a longtime legend. His name was Grandpa. And so we're trying to stay happy for the rest of these kitties. <clears throat> We have a couple of adoptions going on. Uh, Lori is interviewing the potential adopters, screening them. And then we have a couple inside that are choosing um, a couple kittens as well. Thank you, we are so sad today. It's like a kick in the stomach. Hey, is that the Marlene from North Dakota? We're assuming he went in his sleep, Vicky. And I guess if that's, that's how I wanna go too. Hey, Marlene, Marlene's the one that, uh, was feeding Mario that I did a reel on. I'll have to get some um, videos and consolidate them and make a tribute. I'm sure Hannah's probably already working on that. Hi, Tippy. Hi, Tippy. You know what a cool thing is? Is I about four years ago? Um, let's see, 2021, uh, maybe it was three years ago. Three or four years ago, we took in a cat named Georgie that looked exactly like Grandpa. His owner was battling addiction, and we had Georgie for almost a year, and out of the blue, randomly, she sent me two pictures of Georgie, and she sent me the nicest text ever. Georgie's 17, and she thanked me and Furball for saving Georgie's life, because she couldn't, she was living under a bridge, and I was battling that with 
my own family member at the time, and I knew how important keeping your cats or your pets are. So I, we took Georgie for almost a whole year. She got her act together, and it looks like she's doing well. I'll have to post Georgie, Georgie's picture. He, was a, um, he looked exactly like Grandpa. So isn't that ironic that she sent me that today? It actually uh, made me feel good. There's Lupita. Yeah, seasons in the sun. I think that's perfect. That's perfect. I always cry when I make those reels. We had joy, we had fun. It is embarrassing because I got a lot of people here. So let me get my composure, hold on. Yeah, Bob. God, <laughs> uh, we, we love so deep and we hurt so deep too. I cleaned that circus this morning, totally um, sprayed it down, used a scrub brush. Hopefully I'm not shaky, I'm using a brand new gimbal. I bought another one that's um, supposed to be better for landscape mode is what it, the reviews showed. Hi Athena. Oh my gosh. Hi Athena. Just think, um, Grandpa was, he, you know, he lived on the streets for, for sure nine years. I wonder why they called him Grandpa. He was an old man maybe. Oh, are they, um, huh? No kids. Yeah, they don't have any kids? No. Oh. What do you think? Oh, is that the couple? Sorry, we're discussing adoptions. You can look at Athena right now. <laughs> look at Athena, ignore us. Yeah. Um, so there's a couple that were in there that, um, yeah. Is that beast talking with? Oh, yeah. What do you think? I, yeah, as long as okay. they know that they have to be careful with them. Okay. 100%. I mean, if adopt her, get him as free. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lloyd might be being adopted, you guys. So the um, reason why Chris didn't want to say too much about Lloyd is um, he has shown that uh, if he gets overly, what do you call it, stimulated, he might, he might bite, which all cats kind of sort of do. But he was bothering Janice on the computer, and she kind of pushed him, and he bit her. So we're like, oh, poop. That's not good. But these people are completely understanding and you know what? It could be that we have too many cats here for Lloyd. Remember, Lloyd can't be in the sanctuary. So we put Lloyd out in the break room. So Chris is totally explaining about Lloyd. All right, well. Uh, yeah, the, we're, um, the pavers are being shipped next week. And so what, let's just say it takes a week to get them and then they're gonna start putting them in. I thought somebody said it could be like the week of the 17th. Isn't this amazing, all the people that come to see our cats? Here comes Chris. Oh, yay. Dustin, there's some people looking at Dustin. They have a dog. Dustin oh, that's dogs. awesome. Um, when is his uh, Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday, yeah. Oh my God, Dustin might be in a I love Bustin. Uh, Bustin. I love, I think I was looking, my furball is a big biter and I was thinking of Dustin, so I said Bustin. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Big Mike's kind of a legend too. Today's Pet Memorial Day? Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Yeah. Hi, Big Mike. Do you know that you are a celebrity, Mike? Just like Grandpa? Isn't he gorgeous? Hi, Mike. We are treating Mike for hyperthyroidism. Hi, 
Curtis. Or, ugh, Curtis. Hi, Kenneth. Hi, Kenneth. So we are... Oh my gosh, they pulled the circus tent down and then jumped on top of it. That's funny. See, if you join our Twitch, um, it's free. You can see all the shenanigans that the cats do when we're not here. Hi, Mike. I love you. Do you know how much I love you? Oh, that's interesting. You have a hyperthyroid also. Hi, Mike. Do we see in this corner? There's Paris. Hi, Paris. Isn't she beautiful? Hi, Paris. Paris has a lump on her back that I want Dr. Mills to check. I'm hoping it's just a lump from a vet where the vaccine is. Like it's just this little fatty deposit. But nonetheless, I'm going to have Dr. Mills check that out. We have a few cats sleeping, hiding in the crandas here. Oh, is this Tiki Cat? Hi, Tiki Cat. We can pet Tiki Cat now. Hi, baby girl. I think she's adoptable. Wow, hyperthyroid, Jody. You've had it since you were eight. Wow. Isn't Tiki Cat beautiful? She's adoptable. We just have to update her on her vaccines. Hi, Tiki Cat. Isn't she gorgeous? And I don't know who that cat is right there. Do any of you guys know who that cat is right there? It's probably a newer one. I'm not sure who that one is. Oh, there's Fatty. Hi, Fatty. Fatty. So a lot of these cats come out after visiting hours, which is kind of nice. All right, we'll go out on the catio. There's Austin, she's also one of our adaptables. Hi, Austin. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. You are beautiful. Aw, there's Sandy. So everybody prepare for Sandy. Sandy is on hospice also. Look, she still enjoys getting love. Yeah. Yeah. And Rufus is being treated for his upper respiratory. He's a, he's a challenge. We have to put food, we have to put the antibiotics in food because you can't pill him. And he doesn't like his eyes wiped. So when I'm petting him like that, sometimes I quickly sl slip a finger over his eye to get the crust. I think it's just crusties now. If I could wipe those crusties off, he'd look pretty darn normal. Yeah, you got Grace. You can't remember who's who. Come on. You know what's cool is when the when the when the followers can name the cats. Like, cause I have a hard time. I know the first three hundred, but then we keep getting new ones. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine. It's hard, yeah. and they, a lot of them look alike. Yeah. Look, there's Leona. Unless they're distinguished, you know. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I just, oh, thank we, you. We, ride, we all ride a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's like, awesome. Um, Awesome. Oh, that's awesome. My eyes are salty just because of grandpa and people bring up grandpa and I'm like, don't let's not talk about that while I'm live. <laughs> no, it sucks. Ugh. That's awesome. These cats need it. They need it. We can't possibly pet them all. <laughs> uh, you're what? My name is Sherry. Oh, I, I keep saying we got to have a pet named Sherry so we can play the song. <laughs> Sometimes we do pick cat's names after songs and play it, like Donna. <laughs> <laughs> we did a Valerie for that reason. Oh. All right, we. Well, I suppose. Well, we might as well keep it open. <clears throat> we'll just have to have flies coming in and out. Oh, did that thing fall? Cats are having fun with that. <laughs> so we are out on the catio here. <sighs> are you guys having fun with the screen? It's a new toy. Like her shave job? Hannah did that. Hannah shaved her. And that's the honest to God truth, you guys. 
It wasn't me. Usually it's me. <laughs> and it's mean, I usually blame Hannah, but that really was Hannah. <laughs> I think this is uh, Karen. If, it, um, if the cat is walking around, it's Ava that walks funny, but there's Yoko. Hi, Yoko. Look at their gazing outside at the area that's gonna be their playground. We could call it Grandpa's Playground. <clears throat> hey, Cody, do you know that um, Fatty came to us from another rescue and it's P-H-A-T-T-Y? So somebody named Cody is um, kind of yelling because he's using all caps about the name Fody, Co about the name Fatty and he's calling that disgusting. Do you know that um, she came from another rescue and it's P-H-A-T-T-Y. She has no clue because she doesn't speak English and um, she's proud of her name. And rest in peace, Mary Thibodeau, who named her Fatty. She ran a rescue and um, she passed away of pancreatic cancer. So it's not the F-A-T-T-Y, it's P-H-A-T-T-Y and she's proud of her name. Um, Fatty came from Persnickety Cat Rescue and she passed away um, in May, I think it's been three years now. And Fatty is quite proud of her name. You know, I think a lot of people um, put human emotions in cats. Um, you know, they kind of act like they're human emotions and they don't. Um, do you guys know, I'm gonna swear. So if you guys have any young kids, plug their ears or turn the, mu the volume down. We had a cat legit come to us, legit. Are there any kids out here? Okay, plug your ears. Can you plug your ears or tell her to go in? I'm gonna say a naughty word. I'm gonna say a naughty word. A bad word? I don't, maybe she shouldn't hear the bad word. We had a cat that had a funny name, but it's a bad word. It, and I don't think she should hear it. Which one? It's, it's um, fat and then, yeah, okay. So if you have kids, turn your music, turn your volume down. I'll come over here and I'll be real quiet. Um, so if you have kids, and I missed a lot of the comments, but we had a cat that came in. Okay, I'll spell it. Good job, Sharon. Um, the cat's name was F-A-T-B-A-S-T-A-R-D. And we called him that. He thought it was his name, and he was darn proud of it. Um, he was a feral from Hastings. He came to us from a horse barn, and he was black and white, and he is outside. Uh, we don't see him that often, so he was here for a good year and a half. Um, so I don't know if he, if he went to a new home. <laughs> I've heard um, two doors down, um, there's a couple of our cats with clipped ears that live there and they're thankful. So I'm hoping that FB is, sometimes we referred to him as FB, um, lives there. And um, our, our neighbor Candace, she's like, she, last week she's like, you need to go down there and see which cats. Cause you know, I do often wonder if there's a couple, there's a cat named Chief that um, we had for a while that um, disappeared. And I'm just wondering if they're down there. There's a fur ball. I hear a fur ball. So, is that Buddy? Let me see who that is. Oh, that's um, Kenny. <laughs> Get that out, Kenny. Get it out. Who knows who this tortie is? Oh. I, I don't know why I wasn't thinking about spelling it. Oh, FB. I didn't even think of that. That's funny. All right, we'll go down on the other end. I'm on YouTube, just FYI. <laughs> Were you? Nope, you weren't here yesterday. Nope. I'm like, you look like somebody that was here yesterday. <laughs> yep. I had to look twice. <laughs> There's Eldon. Hi, Eldon. Good, I hope you guys are getting ads. Let's see, we have Eldon, and then we have Theodore. Hi, Theodore. And then we have a black cat, so we'll call that black cat Blackie, because I don't know who it is. Hi, Blackie. Hi, beautiful Blackie. Um, I got a really good video of Drew eating Meals on Wheels, so I'm gonna make my way down here, and I will show you Drew. There's Damien. Hi, Damien. Boy, he's sure got a story to tell, right? For those of you that know. 
All right, let's go down here. Hi, Victoria. I wish I could wipe your eye boogers. I would really love to wipe your eye boogers. And our neighbors aren't far um, from us. Um, we only have five acres, primarily it's behind us. All right, let's go down here. Um, I gave meal, um, Drew Meals on Wheels and he gobbled it down. He's still in the same spot. Oh, look, okay, you guys look at how Drew. Um, here we go. I'll show you, there's his bowl from Meals on Wheels. Look at how comfy, oh, I think he just woke up from me. Drew, Drew, Drew. He liked his Meals on Wheels. Hi, Drew. When his eyes were open this morning, his eyes looked way better. I'm sorry, I'm missing comments. Hi, Drew. Look at, there's a beautiful black cat also. I can't see the ears. Let's just kind of move over here. Hi, Drew. Drew, Drew. Hey, buddy. Hi, Drew. It'll be fun to see his um, transformation here. So he is on Clavamox twice a day, so he gets Meals on Wheels twice a day. Sometimes I think the cats fake it. They fake a sneeze so they can get Meals on Wheels. Bye, Sylvia. Thanks for tuning in. I always watch my lives too when I get home, so I get ads. All right, y'all, who's this one? Ebenezer, isn't he, doesn't he look good? Do you guys remember how Ebenezer looked when we first got him? Doesn't he look so good? Hi, Ebenezer. He used to um, throw F-bombs at me. Hi, look at, isn't this amazing? Hi, Ebenezer. Hi, buddy. Oh, you, it's okay, it's okay. Hi, buddy. Hi, Ebenezer, doesn't he look great? Hi. There's Lena. She doesn't throw F-bombs at me like she used to. Hi, Lena. And then here is Curtis. Hi, Curtis. Hi, beautiful Curtis. There's the beautiful Ellie. Oh, thank you, Sylvia, for crying with us. There's Alaska. Hi, beautiful Alaska. I do, you know, as even though we can't pet the majority of our cats, we can't pet them because they're feral. Um, they weren't socialized as kittens. I, I believe they're happy, especially when we're not right with them. Um, I'll move up and see Moonshine. First, I'll get these lower cats here. Oops. There's Sylvia. Oh, Sylvia, there's Sylvia. And it looks like there's Michelle behind Sylvia. And then we have an orange cat here. Are you pettable? Whoops, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that cat wasn't uh, touchable. I'm so sorry, apologies. Apologies. All right, here we go. Yeah, Janice tries to pet everybody. Uh, there's Debbie. Um, Grandpa had been on our radar for two years and he, we could see him slowing down in the last month, which is why I had um, an appointment for Friday for him, for a dental, for blood work and all that. He was on our radar. I think it was something quick. Um, I think heart attack, something quick took him. There's Nora. Hi, Nora, I can pet Nora. Let's see if I can pet this black cat, you ready? Oh, this might be Uncle Jesse. Can I see your face? I think this is Uncle Jesse. Limpy, yep, Limpy usually isn't out during the day. Limpy comes out at night. And everybody knows Limpy because he limps. Hi. Hi. 
I wish Hannah was on. I don't, I'm not quite sure who this gray cat is, to be honest. Hi, you're a nice one though. Here's Niall. Niall! Hi, baby girl. Isn't she gorgeous? Hi. Yeah, Jill, you got to meet Grandpa. Hi, Allie. Okay, let's move on up. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Somebody asked for moonshine and you got your moonshine. Hi, moonshine. And look who came to say hi. Hi, Blackbeard. What I started doing is um, somebody sent us some long spoons. So I come out here with canned food and I um, give them canned food on the spoon um, just so they associate me or us with something good. Oh, Yolanda, yeah. Speaking of Yolanda, she's usually here. There's Clarence. Um, is there anybody on this bed right here? Yolanda's probably up here. You can't see. I think that's Yolanda. Is that Yolanda? I think that's Yolanda right there. Oh, is that Josephine? Uh, Mikhail goes in. Oh, you know what? Is this Mikhail? This might be Mikhail. You're, thank you. This is Mikhail. <laughs> yeah, sudden is hard. Grandpa was on our radar. It doesn't make it any easier, though. Ugh. Look at those mitts. Isn't that cool? My husband and sons, a couple of my boys are fixing cars and getting ready to scrap stuff. Who else can we see? I see Bucky Bear. So right now there's some adoptions going on. I'm excited to see who gets to have a, a home. Um, and slowly get down on kittens so that we can have more time with these adults. Because our mission is for adults. And when we have a lot of kittens, we need to go socialize them so they don't end up being fur balls, and then it takes away from our fur balls. All right, I think I'm going to um, end here and get some pictures and videos to make reels. Um, thank you for watching. We love you guys. We love everybody that follows us. We love you guys for loving our cats. You, you guys love them as much as we do, and that's pretty amazing. All right, make sure if you haven't already, like and subscribe to our channel. Share our YouTube. And I'm going to watch this tonight and make the money on the ads. So we will see you at 4 o'clock on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Bye.